Hi everyone, so um, I don't really make videos that often, I know, and this is just a random one I decided to make while I was driving, but um, today is Passover, Good Friday, whatever you call it personally, I don't know, just a normal Friday for some people I guess. Um, and I just went to a church service now. From most people that know me, I am new to Christianity because I wasn't really raised knowing it or being taught it or anything like that. But um, I'm trying to kind of understand things um, on my own, kind of, by going to church and trying to, you know, read and everything like that, like read the Bible, of course. And, you know, maybe just ask some people some questions, stuff like that, you know. And so tonight was the story of the death and the resurrection. And the way that my pastor described it was very good, in my opinion. And um, so I, in order to f like fully understand something, I feel like I need to fully understand the details. I'm just very, I'm, I'm sorry, I have an air freshener up here and it kept dangling. I'm just gonna pretend like it's not up there. All right, so I need to understand the details of things in order to feel like I fully get it and I can kind of run with it or like, you know, use it to my, you know, just use it basically and understand it. And so I didn't, I never felt like I understood the story until I sat and just listened to music, closed my eyes and just meditated on what all of it really meant. I was told all my life, not all my life, of course, but I've been told a couple times I'm familiar with it. Um, what happened, why it happened, stuff like that. But what people failed to, not failed, but what I, maybe I failed. Yeah, maybe what I failed to fully understand is the depth and the reason why. And so basically I sat and analyzed it for a while and I really hope I describe this well or explain it well, I should say. And I can help someone else that may be new or someone who just wants to understand it even if they're not a Christian. And so basically, in the beginning, there was God, there was Adam and Eve. And, you know, God made the world exactly how he intended. And made these human beings exactly how they were intended to be made everything exactly how it tended to be like almost like whenever a parent you know has a child they don't choose exactly how they intend to be but they do make a child and children will often disappoint parents as many parents know i'm not a parent but i know trust me i know we disappoint you guys um so they, just like us as children, disappoint our parents every day probably for some. Adam and Eve disappointed God and they were his children. And they made him realize when he made them that they were still going to rebel and sin. And as more people came about the earth, that continued. And God was like, what's going on here it was getting pretty mad pretty heated at the thought of the that like everything wasn't how he made it and it's just because that was the intention and it's not oh, we'll turn there <laughs> um sorry so that wasn't the intended way that people were supposed to be they're supposed to follow this path that was just you know good didn't go against him basically no no like rebellion or anything and as more people came about, he was angry at the fact that no one was listening to him. No one seemed to care. Everyone just did their own thing, pretty much. And so that's why so many natural disasters started coming about on the planet. And, like, crazy stuff was happening because, like, people were just going against him, you know, for generations. And he was like, if you're not going to listen to me, then, you know, this is going to happen. This is not what you were supposed to be like. You know, he's just basically almost like bitter about it, you know, rightfully so. Because, you know, if you make something, you want it to be that way, especially if you're like an artist. You see an image in your head, 
you put it on paper, if it's not exactly what you saw in your head, you want to trash it. You want to rip it up. You want to tear it to shreds. You don't want to look at it. I mean, that's what I do. But, you know, that's kind of what was going on. And eventually, you know, God was like, was like, I just need to, you know, wanted to kind of go in the form of a human being and live out a human life to kind of set an example for what humanity should look like. Like, as a human being, I want to teach you how you guys should be because this is just, this is the right way as a human being. And so that's where, um, you know, God makes Jesus, and Jesus is in the earth, the world, and Jesus will set these examples to try and help humanity. Basically, one us was someone that wanted to save humanity and help them understand like why they're even here, what they should be following and how they should be following it. And no one, I don't know if that's a cop behind me. I have my light on, so I'm like, is that like lethal? I don't know. My parents always freaked out about that when we were little, so I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so Jesus is teaching people how they should be and what they should be doing. And people didn't like that, of course. And then, um, all along, God knew he was going to try and teach people. And at the same time, for the people that did sin and will continue to sin, because he's like, at this point, he's like, I know it's going to happen. Like, I just know. Trust me. I know. It's been happening for years. It's going to keep happening. So he was like, I want to make a sacrifice to pay for the fact that I'm, you know, they're doing this because it's wrong. And so I will have a human being that I created exactly how I wanted them sacrifice themselves almost I mean it wasn't totally by choice I mean you know basically be the sacrifice that makes it so whoever sins can be forgiven as long as they do try to follow the path that I had sent out through Jesus and as long as they try to follow my word. I know they're going to mess up. Like, there's no doubt about that. I know they're going to mess up is what comes to his mind. And even though they're going to mess up, it's going to be okay if they ask for forgiveness and understand like this was wrong, but now I'm trying my best. So basically, you try your best to live a life like Jesus, as difficult as it is, then and ask for forgiveness even over the little things sometimes, like, you know, if I ever accidentally, you know, swear or something, even I feel bad and I feel like I need to say, oh, I'm sorry, God, you know, stuff like that. As I'm becoming more of a Christian, I'm just starting to feel like certain things are wrong. And I feel like that gets planted in your heart whenever you, you know, start going down that path because you start realizing certain things just don't feel right in your heart. And there's a reason for that. Some people ignore that feeling. Some people see it as like an adrenaline rush because they know they shouldn't be doing it, but they want to do it anyways. I'm so sorry about the stupid air freshener. It's just there, okay? <laughs> um, so basically, the details of this story are made people, people like weren't, people started turning against him when he made them, kind of how kids do to parents. And he was mad about it because that isn't what was intended as art was not what he intended it to be. And instead of continuing to, you know, punish them on earth, he figured, why don't I just make someone that can just sack, like, you know, set a good example. People are not going to like it. So they're going to want to kill him. And that can be how a human can be sacrificed in order for me to you know, people can, you know, follow his path, and if this happens, and people sin, if they ask for forgiveness, and truly believe that this was my doing, and understand they are my children, and that they disappoint me every single day, it kind of sounds like funny, but like, it's not at the same time, if they understand this, and believe this with their heart, and try their best, even though they're like, gonna mess up every day, in many ways, good and like, you know, big and small, then they can have my forgiveness. I won't be as wrathful, but it only goes so far. Like if you 
like you can't kill someone kill multiple people and say oh I'm sorry God forgive me because you killed someone and you can't just like keep just saying oh I'll just say I'm sorry and move on and do it again that's not how it works you have to like you have to actually change in order for your soul to be changed and I had to I sat and thought about this to this level you can say I overthink I know I do but I needed to understand the details to that extent to feel like I actually could understand this story and some people I don't know if like I don't know if it's because I wasn't raised understanding this whole concept or if um or if it's just because maybe I'm someone that needs extra details or something like that to understand something so almost bizarre because I was always a practical thinker. I was always someone that was like, you know, I gotta see it, kind of. I was never like an atheist, like never. But I was someone that wanted to kind of see things for myself. And I was always, you know, more, not like logical because I'm like emotional all the time too. Um, I'm very ruled by emo my emotions, so if I couldn't feel something with my heart, I wanted to understand the details, so I understood them, and now with my heart, I can say that that makes sense. Now, if that whole thing I just said doesn't make sense, I'm very sorry, because I'm going to be real. I don't know if I explained that right. I just kind of said what I was meditating on for you know 20 minutes after service while they were still singing and stuff because you know people were praying and stuff like that but I'm gonna watch this back and if I don't sound like total gibberish then you're watching it right now so hi um and that's from my understanding if you're someone who has been studying this kind of thing for years and I am totally off I'm sorry please don't be me I don't think you would be but maybe explain it to me in the comments or something if I have it warped in any way because I'm trying <laughs> and I think that's what matters most but um, I'm gonna go and um, you know just chill out and stuff so thanks for listening I hope I made sense like I said I'm gonna listen back and hopefully I made sense um, so yeah goodbye and I guess happy Passover and happy Easter Bye.